Hi there, I'm Eitan and welcome to Wix Fixer. This is the second video in the series about getting data from an external API and displaying it on Wix. In the first video, I talked a bit about how to read API documentation. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to store your secret API key in the Wix secret manager and access it from your backend. So let's get started. Okay, so the first step will be to hop over to our developer account. And here is our private API key, which I will be copying over. And remember, this is something that you don't want to show to anyone. I'm just showing it to you here because I don't really care if you access this API account of mine. But if you have a credit card attached to your API or you're limited in calls, you don't want other people accessing this. And that is why we are storing it in the secrets manager. So I'm going to hop over here to my Wix dashboard and I'm going to go down to developer tools and I'm going to go to secrets manager. Okay. And it's very important that you store it here and not just in any collection on your Wix website so that only you can access it through your backend code. And I'm going to call this Marvel key and you can add lots of keys to your backend, uh, to your secrets manager, sorry. And each one will have a name and then you just put the value over here, and we're going to be using this name in order to access it from the back end. So I'm going to save, and you can see that our secret was saved successfully. Now what I need to do is hop over to my editor, and I'm going to click over here, public and back end, and I'm going to be adding a new module to my back end code. And it's very important here that it's in your back end and not in public, okay? Because back end can only be accessed by you through the editor and uh, in specific ways that you allow your front end code to access the back end. And I'm just going to erase all this boilerplate code that comes uh, over here. And here is where we're going to be accessing our secret. And in order to do that, let's just pop over here and we see in the Wix documentation that we need to use this import get secret from the Wix secrets back end. So I'm going to do that here on the top level. And then we need to use this const my secret equals await get secret. Okay, and here I'm going to call this private key. Okay, because this is my private API key. And here I need to use the name that I gave to my secret. So this is going to be Marvel key. And you see that we have an error here because await cannot be called at top level. That means it has to be inside of a function. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a function. I'm going to call it something that's not get secret. So I'm going to call it get API key. And this needs to be an async function because we have await inside. So const async equals this function. And inside of that, we're going to get our private key. Now let's just console our private key. And in order to test this function, what I can do is I can add the export keyword here. And this export basically allows my front end to access this function. Uh, and I'm going to be showing you how to do that later on. But for now, all I want to do is use this handy tool, which lets you run the function in the back end and see what results it returns. So you just click here on this play button and then I can click, let's just clear what I had previously. I'm going to click run and you see that the function was called and you can see here that it returned, I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see it a little more clearly, it returned my API key from the secret manager. So that is how you store a secret in the secret manager in Wix and access it through your backend code. In the next video, I'll be showing you how to use this key when you make your call to the API. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.